Today we are going to be moving our snapping turtle, Chloe, into our zoo. Since our zoo opened last September, we've had an anaconda exhibit that has been empty. And that's because Tiny, our green anaconda, just doesn't like to eat if he's in a big habitat, so we know he'll refuse food if he's in this enclosure, and it's gonna take several years until he's big enough to move in. So, ironically, a, a fan named, also named Chloe, from the Snake Discovery Fans Facebook group, suggested that we move our snapping turtle Chloe into here in the meantime, and we thought it was such a great idea we're gonna do it! So thank you, Chloe, for the suggestion. Today we are going to finally finish this enclosure or exhibit by filling it up with water and adding some heat bulbs and some, um, I think there's already heat and UVB in there. Yeah, it's just, turned off. it's just not plugged in. Yeah. yeah. So we have to finish this enclosure and then we'll get to move her in. So what all do we have? We have to do the lights. We the have lights have to be plugged in. I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's heat and UVB. Yep, I can see the UVB yep. and there's heat. So those just have to be plugged in. Yep. LED is already working. Yep. We have to fill up the water down there. Yep. We have to make sure the pump doesn't leak because I'm not sure if that ever That's happened. Right. No, we have not tested that yet. Um, Make sure the pump works. Yes. We have there's to a pump in here like yeah. the pump is ready to go it's just been sitting there since last year yeah so that's good as we long as it doesn't leak remove that twisty tie oh yes the i guess that was this enclosure's animal i guess and apparently. then the biggest that stump yeah this is the big thing is that stump is full of foam so it floats we learned when we yeah. started to uh fill this up once last year and maybe um, the reason why this has sat so long is that stump yeah <laughs> So I, we have to figure out a way to keep that stump down and like worst case scenario we can take the stump out and just not use it but I really like how it looks yeah. and it would give her something good to climb up. So I think I'm gonna try weighing it down from the bottom by, I don't know, flipping it upside down, maybe carving out enough foam so I can shove a big brick in it. If the brick is able to make it sink. I remember it took a lot of weight to force that down when we had it half full. Well, I found a huge cinder block in our dumpster from the construction oh, out front. Perfect. So I think I'll try that, and fingers are crossed that it works. Yes. Did you have to start filling it while I was in the tank? Um, I didn't think about that, <laughs> but if it makes you feel any better, I forgot to leave this uh, this tightened, so oh. it squirted me with a bunch of water. Uh -huh. Karma. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can just take my shoes off. Oh, there you go. Yeah, then I can, then I can work keep working. Because that's going to take the longest amount. <laughs> We got the stump out. Do you want to explain what you're doing? Well, I was going to carve a hole into it, but this is like really heavy duty foam. Yes, it is. Because Stuart apparently goes all out on everything, which is good. But how are we going to make this sink? This I is mean, like. I think your cinder block is a good idea. Could we somehow just attach the cinder block to the outs? No. No, it looked like crap like that. Sawzalls go through everything, right? Sure. We can get power tools out for this. All right. Okay, so we let our rescue Salcata, that's for adoption right now, run loose through the zoo while we're working today because we're closed. And he insists on running under this stump every time he makes a loop through the zoo. We're only trying to make a video and fix Chloe's enclosure. You are making this so much more difficult. He also doesn't give two craps about anything he runs over. He no. just plows through. You're a machine. This is, I think, his fifth lap around the zoo? Yeah, I think it's his fifth time around. I've seen kids get tired out after two or three. There he goes. No! Even with the brick, it still floats. So I was able to weigh it down with my foot on that root. So I think if we just had a really heavy rock propped against that, that could help, maybe? Maybe. I think we can, I mean, we got big rocks from the landscaping company for Rex's enclosure. Yeah. Maybe we can try that again. Change of plans, the landscaper guy is closed. So plan C is to take this big stick that we found in the greenhouse and screw that end to the root that I was holding it down with and the other end to the wall and maybe that'll hold it down in place. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we can try. Mm -hmm. 
the idea here was we screwed that stick into the wall, then down there, and we have the brick in the back. And now Emily's trying to finagle these rocks to hold it down. How's it working? I don't know. I think we can test it out. I mean, I guess there's only one way to test it. Yeah. It either explodes in our face or it works. Want to try? Sure, go for it. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. <gasps> now hopefully it works when we turn the water back on and fill it all the way up. Hooray, you didn't float! Yeah. Look at that, it's trying to float, but it's not succeeding thanks to that stick. Yeah, so that stick is holding it in place. Good I, job, stick. I think we're good, maybe, possibly, as long as Chloe doesn't mess it up in the future. Yeah. But the water's really cold, because the water that comes from that faucet is like... 60. 60 degrees. So instead of putting a snapping turtle into shock by putting her in today, we're going to wait till tomorrow and yeah. let her heater warm Heaters are on. We should probably take some bat turtle water. And throw it in there so we don't get cloudy yeah paint start syndrome. cycling it a little yeah. bit yep we'll probably do that and then tomorrow we'll come in we'll plug in her lights and put her in yeah all right it's the next day i think the water level's the same as it was is the floor wet nope any wetness on the floor no uh, a little bit i guess but nothing that i'm gonna be worried about okay that could have been from yesterday sweet i'd say we're good then yeah hooray all right, let's see what temperature it is in there. Now, yeah, next question, is it warm? No, oh, this isn't on. Uh-oh. So, it's probably not warm in there. Dang it. Well, I'll get a temp gun, we'll see. All right. It is at, oh, 66. Ooh. Yeah, a little chilly. All right, maybe we'll just turn on the UVB and basking and with let heaters, it, with the heaters on. Actually on, not turned on and then turned off somehow. Yeah, and then we'll put her in tonight. Well, it's the next morning, and it turns out the between the heaters and the uv sterilizer it was too much power for the surge protector so it kept flipping off so ed do you want to explain what you're doing to try to fix this um so i'm basically using this really high gauge extension cord that runs rex's currently and i'm just plugging this in now because <laughs> i know this can run it yeah it runs it, it on run rex it. yeah rex's. it runs it from fine for rex's the cord does not get heated up or anything like that so yeah we'll just go with the straight up extension cord now okay perfect yeah surge protectors just weren't cutting it because thankfully they... it looks like it's at 68 which is only about three degrees lower than what her current temperature is well yeah that's right because we we unplugged her heater yesterday thinking that we'd be moving her and uh, so now she's at room temperature, which is fine. She's a snapping turtle. And what's nice is now she's not going from 80 degree heated water to uh, 68 degree non-heated, like almost room temperature water. So this will work out pretty well, actually. We'll be able to move her in still this morning. Yep. And then with the heater on, it'll just warm up and she'll be nice and comfy yeah, cozy. she'll just get slowly warmed up. Yeah. And the heat bulbs are turned on. So she, if she's cold, she can come out and bask. Oh, that's true. Yeah, she could always bask if she wanted to, but she's a snapping turtle. Yep. They, won't they come out and don't care. They live in <laughs> every temperature it's seems yeah. so should we move her in sure chloe it's your big day you get to move into the zoo oh she's gonna miss that cord she always likes rubbing up against that cord yeah she does that's or a okay. tube i guess you are going to love your new habitat come here hi cutie hey, let go. <laughs> are you ready to move you're such a good girl she, she did like, a i hate my life right now <laughs> she did a turtle program yesterday and she did really well did she yes so this is her reward she nice. gets to move into the zoo oh, little I'm... smile there for a second <laughs> also like how we're just going to be dripping all over the floor yeah it's fine <laughs> All right, you go around and I'll stand in front. Okay, sounds good. Have fun, Chloe. All right, what's she gonna think? Yeah, look at this giant enclosure you have. Go, 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 go. Oops, she instantly ran into the stump. Oh, she'll learn where everything is. Yep, go, Chloe, go. And now she's sitting completely still. Oh, <laughs> she looks so small in there. Yeah, she does. Oh, like, Chloe. Tank, Chloe. She looks like one of those stumps. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she's the size of one of the rocks in here. Look at you. Oh, she is going to, with how much she seemed to enjoy escaping. I think she's a very explorative snapping turtle. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. She would escape, or she used, uh, probably about once a week she would get out here. Mm. Once every other, maybe. Say about, unless there was a lot of stuff going on, it was about once a month. You think? Yeah. yeah. Whenever we added something new, that was the night that she would escape and check it out. She yeah. always had to investigate new things we found. So now I think- she's locked up. 
She can escape and look at things. That's right. That's right, you're stuck in there. But since she's such a curious snapping turtle and actually a pretty friendly one, I think she's going to love the attention she yeah. gets from Zuvis visitors. So this is gonna be fantastic. She's gonna get so much enrichment just by watching people looking at her. She's well, probably a little confused at what glass is. Oh yeah. Like, well, she no, she's had glass before. Yeah, when she was younger, she was yeah. in a, a, a glass But then enclosure. she got moved up into the, the, big, totes, the big totes. Or tubs. Yeah, so now she's like, Instantly like, why can't I swim through this barrier? Should we check back in like 10 minutes and see where she's at? Sure. Okay. Well, it's been an entire day, just about, and yeah, Chloe, still open. Chloe has been like constantly staring this way Aww. at people. Oh, oh, I'm not she wants food. To eat you too. Yeah, maybe that's what she actually wants. <laughs> she wants food. <laughs> oh, we're starting to get cloudy tank syndrome. Oh yes, we are. New tank syndrome. Yeah. So that's from bacteria trying to establish itself in a new tank. So that'll go away and clear out naturally yeah. on its own. But so far, so good. Yeah, she sat there. Yeah, she kind of went all around, but she has not come out onto the surface yet. So. I wonder what's the temperature? Look into there oh. and see if we're still running. Uh, 80. Ah, perfect. Nice, it's 80 go. degrees. Hooray! It's nice and warm, so we fixed the uh, heating issue with yep. that, that extension cord. Yep, we're all good there. Perfect. The only last thing I want to do is take that stump and figure out a way to sink it, or, you know, maybe I'll just stick it over there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. We don't want to crowd her water too yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. So we might just put it in the corner instead of using up more of her yep. space to swim. I think so. Okay, that'll that'll work. Maybe in that corner. There we go. We'll figure something out. Yep. But Chloe is now officially in the zoo. Yeah. We also still have to make the, inf or print the informational sign and then order a, like, a permanent one. So she'll have a snapping turtle sign with fun facts about snapping By turtles. By the time this video is up, we'll have it. Not That's for the next, this weekend, we won't. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to uh, catch a flight, actually, for uh, uh, Ed's cousin's wedding, yep. so we have to leave, which is why we really wanted to get her in today just to see how she... Kim has questions about packages. Yeah, we'll just turn You're that just off. You're just shutting her off? Yep. Sorry, Kim. We're in the middle of filming. <laughs> you got muted by Ed. Yep. Right. So everybody wish my cousin Lindsay a happy wedding. Yeah. Yeah, and thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm very excited to have Chloe out here. Instead of her being in back where she can just escape all the time, she's gonna love it in the zoo. Thanks guys for watching. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye Chloe. Let's see if she's still hungry for fingers. You still want, oh, oh yes. Oh yes she does. You'll all have to say hi to her when you come in now.